So I am going to perform now a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I will perform a general physical examination on the patient. Zubair sahab, now I and you look at the sclera for any jaundice. आप please अगर mask अपना उतार ले तो मैं आपके नाक का, गले का और कान का मुआयना करूँगी. So look at the nose. आप जबान बाहर निकालिएगा, मुँह खोलिएगा, बोलिएगा आ. ठीक है. Look at the throat. And then through an otoscope. This is the otoscope and I am going to now examine his ears. So with an otoscope you need to have disposable earpiece. These are disposable earpiece. Once you use it on the patient you can dispose it off. You attach it here like this and then switch on the uh, otoscope. Some otoscopes are battery operated and some are rechargeable. This one is battery operated. So for the right ear, I hold the otoscope in my right hand. You can hold it like this or I prefer to hold it like this because it's more convenient. Okay, then you hold the ear with your left hand like this and pull it upward and a bit backward and then you insert the otoscope in the ear and you can look at the tympanic membrane and the cone of light with this otoscope. If there is any wax or there is any inflammation in the external canal, you would be able to appreciate that as well. For the left ear, I hold the otoscope in my left hand and repeat the procedure. So with the right hand, I pull the tragus, uh, I, I pull the ear backwards and upwards and I can see his tympanic membrane and the cone of light. For performing an uh, ear examination, this was just a part of a general physical examination, so I did it superficially. But specifically, if you are examining the ear, then you need to follow all these steps. Inspection, then palpation. Thoda sa is taraf dekhiega, please. So palpation around the ear, on the pinna, and press the tragus. In case of otitis externa, this tragus when you press the tragus, the patient feels pain. And after inspecting and palpating, then you insert the otoscope and look at the tympanic membranes. Now I'm going to examine the neck of the patient. And for that, I need to place the patient in a specific position. Zubair sahab, aap please apne slippers utar lijega. Pairo ko upar karke aur is taraf apna chehra karke baithiega. Thik hai. So now I would like to examine his lymph nodes and for the lymph nodes I have uh, asked the patient to sit in a specific position. It is always good if you can uh, take his shirt off so that you can easily uh, appreciate the supraclavicular nodes and the anterior cervical chain and the posterior cervical chain and the occipital nodes. But I think uh, right now I'm not going to expose him unless I'm doing a chest examination because it will be very uncomfortable for him. So I'm doing your head, okay? Let's do it a little bit back. If you open a button, it will be better. Thank you very much. Okay. So I'm going to inspect his um, uh, neck anteriorly and posteriorly for any pulsations or any abnormal lumps or masses. Now I am going to examine his lymph nodes, the submental lymph nodes, the submandibular lymph nodes, the anterior cervical lymph nodes on the right and then on the left. 
then the posterior cervical lymph nodes on the right and then on the left the occipital lymph nodes if you can please bring in the camera over here so the occipital lymph nodes the pre auricular chain of lymph nodes the post auricular chain of lymph nodes and then the supraclavicular nodes for the thyroid examination again i have already inspected for any lumps and i would just place my hand over here and ask the patient to swallow aap please jaise pani nigalte hain us tarike se nigliyega thook nigliyega ji so i feel if there is any mass or any lump over here so that was the neck examination so now i am going to examine his hands and his pulses apne haath please aage kariyega ha aise karke ungliyan kholiye so i am examining for uh, any tremors and i'm also looking at his nails for any abnormality i'm also inspecting the dorsum of his hand for any type of scar pigmentation or any uh, lumps or any bumps now i'm examining his pulses and i would like to do it simultaneously in both the hands just to uh, save some time and as i examine his pulses i note it for 30 seconds and i am also noting as as i'm i'm looking at the rate i'm also uh, determining the rhythm if it's regular or irregular and the character of the pulse and the volume of the pulse and symmetry of course as i am examining both the pulses both the radial pulses at the same time सो so, जी जुबैर साहब मैं आपका ब्लड प्रेशर चेक करूंगी उसके लिए आपकी स्लीव्स जो है वो आपके मिड आर्म तक यहाँ तक जो है वो आप प्लीज़ ऊपर कर लीजिएगा तो मैं आपका मुआयना करूंगी बिफोर एग्जामिनिंग द पेशेंट इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू सैनिटाइज योर हैंड्स एंड आल्सो आफ्टर फिनिशिंग ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन सैनिटाइज योर हैंड येट अगैन एंड सैनिटाइज प्रॉपरली इन बिटवीन द वेब ऑफ योर फिंगर्स the thumbs and every part of the hand so this is a wall mounted blood pressure apparatus and you place the cuff at least 2 inches above the elbow joint the hand should be supported like his hand is supported right now or if there is a table in front of it you can keep the hand on the table as well you place your stethoscope in between the wires and a bit on the medial side inflate the cuff slowly gradually up you can go up to 180 to 200 mm of mercury or even more if you think that the blood pressure could be high slowly start deflating the cuff and i can hear the heart sounds now at 110 mm of mercury the voice has now muffled and it's 80 mm of mercury so his blood pressures are 110 by 80 mm of mercury if at any point in time you miss the sounds then you need to deflate the cuff and come to come back to 0 mm and then again reinflate rather than inflating it from the midpoint again thank you zubair so i'm going to examine his his feet right now and i'm going to just uh, feel for the dorsalis pedis pulse and i can feel for it simultaneously in both the uh, feet i can feel it in the on the right side and now on the left side as well now i'm going to look for any edema and for edema you press any bony prominence 
for 10 seconds and then you remove your finger if there is a dip over there then there is pedal edema there is no dip and therefore the foot examination for edema is normal so after examining the patient after doing a general physical examination of the patient i said thank you to the patient and asked him to cover himself if he was exposed at any point in time uh, then i also used the sanitizer and cleaned my hands yet again just to summarize the general physical examination for you i started off with vital assessment i took his height weight blood pressure and then i examined him uh, examined his face i examined his eyes for jaundice and for um, anemia i examined his uh, mouth for any dehydration for any anemia and then i examined his ears his nose i also did an otoscopic uh, examination on his ears to look for his tympanic membrane i examined his uh, neck for any uh, lymph nodes or any thyroid abnormality then i examined his hands i looked at his nails i also uh, uh, examined his his pulses his radial pulses in both the hands uh, then i examined his feet for pedal edema and dorsalis pedis